Mana po? Thank you. Mana po? What's up, Kabayan? Lutro Lao here for Life in the UK. Welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon. But if you're already part of the Kabayan squad, nice to have you back. It's the first week of December and Christmas is just around the corner. Just in case you don't know, the Philippines is widely known to have the longest Christmas celebration ever. Spanning from September, and believe it or not, first two weeks of January, and even sometimes longer. Yes, I know, it's very long, but it's a Filipino thing, and we love Christmas. And here are actual facts that makes Philippine Christmas so epic. As I mentioned earlier, Christmas season usually starts in September in the Philippines, and you're gonna be starting to hear this song in all of the malls all over the Philippines. Cue music. Let's sing Merry Christmas, and a happy holiday. That's the number one indication that Christmas season has begun. And of course, as soon as the Christmas season begins, you will start to see these things. These are called parol or Christmas lantern. See that? Looks like a UFO, no? The parol that I just showed you is only a starter kit because in the Philippines, in my province, we have massive, massive parol. Almost as big as a bus. And if you are really a hardcore Filipino that will celebrate Christmas the right way, a mass that will be held from December 16 up until December 24. And they call this Simbangabi, or the literal translation, Night Mass. Obviously, this is highly influenced by the Spanish. Can you imagine waking up in the middle of the night so you can attend a mass that starts at 3 in the morning? But did you know, the elders said that if you were able to complete 9 masses, after, after all is said and done, you get to have one wish. And most likely, it will come true. I don't know if that's true, because I've never been in one, but that's what they say. Since we're talking about the Philippines, and rice is life, after you go up to your uh, morning mass, outside of the church, you will see two kinds of rice cakes. The first one is the bibingka. The second one is the puto bombo. Essentially, both of them are kinds of rice cake, but they're both prepared differently which goes well with salted eggs and margarine I know it's not exactly the healthiest way but it's a Christmas season and people do love to indulge if in the Western world this is your idea of Christmas carolers good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year but in the Philippines Christmas caroling is either gonna be done by little children that will go to your house and sing or grown-ups with a full-on band that will do Christmas caroling. And they don't just do this for the money. They do this to spread Christmas holiday cheers. And since Christmas is time for family and friends to get together, we cannot forget about the food. And during Christmas night, we have this feast called Noche Buena. Essentially, all of the good stuff in one table, all of your friends and family will gather around and enjoy the feast together. And your usual suspects are the lechon, cured ham, Filipino barbecue, and of course, Filipino spaghetti. It's a kind of spaghetti that has a very sweet sauce and also chopped hot dogs. Yeah, that kind of spaghetti. I suppose this could either be the best or the worst day for godparents because every Christmas day, Filipino tradition compels to have your godparents to give either money or gifts to your godchildren. Or what we call aguinaldo. Of course, before you get your aguinaldo, you need to do this. Mano po. Bless. Bless. So essentially, attaching your forehead to the backhand of your uh, godparent means that you're asking for their blessing. And also, it's a Filip old Filipino way of showing your respect. And we don't do that only for Christmas. As long as you see your elder or relatives, you always do that. Mano po. Or bless. Stop dab, huh? Stop dab. It's manpo. So that's where we're gonna be wrapping up today's video. Please leave comments below. And if you like this video, leave us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. And always remember, basta kabayan, ay siyan. Bye! Merry Christmas, kabayan!